Welcome to EDO Aero Classroom. In this tutorial, we will discuss locus and equation of locus and shifting of origin. Firstly, we will discuss locus. Locus is a curve described by a point which moves under given condition or conditions is called it locus. Now, what is equation of locus? Of a point. The equation of to the locus of a point is a relation which is satisfied by the coordinate of every point on the locus of the point. So equation to the locus of a point is a, is a relation which is satisfied by the coordinates of every point on the locus of the point. In order to find out the equation to a locus, we follow some steps. First step is assume the coordinates of the point as HK whose locus is to be found. Second step is write the given condition in mathematical form involving H and K. Third is eliminate the variable. If n, if there is any variable, we have to eliminate that. Fourth step is replace h by x and k by y in the result obtained in step 3, the equation so obtained is the locus of the point which moves under some stated condition. Now, let us see how these steps help in finding the equation to locus of a point through an example. In this question, we have to find out the locus of a point so that the join of these two points sustains a right angle at the moving point. Suppose P is the moving point and these two points are A and B and these are the joining points. Let's suppose there is a line segment from point A to B. Now, the condition in the quotient is given that the line joint A and B sustains a right angle at the moving point. That is this and this. That is angle APB form a right angle. So angle APB is equal to 90 degree. Or we can say that triangle APB is a right angle triangle. So, this is our condition in the co given question. Now, following this condition, we have to find out the locus of a point. As we know that, the, uh, we have the property in the right angle triangle that the hypotenuse square is equal to the 
perpendicular square plus base square that is Pythagoras theorem. Applying Pythagoras theorem, we have AB square is equal to AP square plus CB square which will be equal to so by using distance formula we calculate AB which will be under root of 3 plus 5 whole square plus 2 minus 1 whole square and whole square of all this term and AP square will be H minus minus 5 whole square plus K minus 1 whole square and whole under root of and whole term of whole square. Plus similarly applying distance formula over here for calculating CB which will be equal to 3 minus H whole square plus 2 minus K whole square and whole raised to 2. As under root will be cancelled out by the square root so we get 5 plus 3, 8. 8 whole square is 64 plus 1 and here it will come h plus 5 whole square plus k minus 1 whole square here it will come 3 minus h whole square plus 2 minus k whole square. So it will be 65 is equal to applying the formula of a plus b whole square which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. So it will be h square plus 25 plus 10h plus k square plus 1 minus 2k plus 9 plus h square minus 6h plus 4 plus k square minus 4k. So on solving this equation we get taking out to be common h square plus k square plus 2h minus 3k plus 39 or h square plus k square plus 2h minus 3k minus 13 will be equal to 0. Replacing h by x and k by y in this equation we get x square plus y square plus 2x minus 3y minus 13 is equal to 0 which is the locus of the point and locus of hk is this. Now let us discuss shifting of origin. Shifting of origin means suppose this is the axis and this was the origin before shifting which is defined as O and this was the coordinate P. Suppose point and whose coordinates are X and Y. Suppose we shift the origin by some distance O dash and whose coordinates are now H and K. Now the coordinates of, of P will also be changed. Suppose the coordinates of New coordinates of P is X and Y. So, we can calculate the new coordinates of P and Y as that is X small x that is old coordinate is will be equal to new coordinate plus H. And similarly Y will be equal to new coordinate plus K. Where X, Y are coordinates of a point referred to old axis and x and y are the coordinates of the point referred to new axis. Or we can say that the transformation formula from new axis to old 
x is is that will be equal to x is equal to x minus h and y will be equal to y minus k and the coordinate of old origin referred to new axis will be minus h and minus k now let us see one example based on this in this question it is given that the axis are shifted to the point this without rotation and what do the equation become this so substitute x is equal to x plus 1 that is old axis is equal to new axis plus the point which it is which shifted that is here because h is equal to 1 and k is equal to minus 2 so as we know that old axis is equal to new axis plus h and old axis is equal to new axis plus k so applying that formula we get small x that is old axis is equal to new axis plus 1 similarly y will be equal to y plus of minus 2 that is y minus 2 in equation we get 2 x plus 1 raised to 2 plus y minus 2 raised to 2 minus 4 into x plus 1 plus 4 into y minus 2 Will be equal to zero. Now solving this equation, we get applying the formula of a plus b whole square, which will be equal to this. Similarly, over here also applying the formula of a minus b whole square. Opening the bracket here, we get this, and here we get this. Now solving this equation, we get two. Cap square plus two plus four x plus y square plus four minus four y minus four x minus four plus four y minus eight is equal to zero. And also, after for the in solving this, we get here. This will be cancelled out by this. This will be cancelled out by this, so we get two x square plus y square. It is this sum and this sum we have taken, and now calculating the constant. That is two plus four is six. Six minus four is two, and minus eight plus two is minus six. Or we can say that this is equal to six. so the equation is transformed to this equation.